Greetings, metaphysicians. This is episode 128, The Revolution is Within. That's what we're talking about today on this episode is that can any external change actually happen and be seen without an internal shift or adaptation? Let's find out. Enjoy the episode. You are listening to Let's Get Metaphysical. This podcast explores the spiritual and metaphysical world through the experiences and opinions of the host and those interviewed. It should not necessarily be seen as direct endorsement or personal advice to our listeners. We encourage you to use your own discernment, judgment, and intuition regarding anything you learn from this show. Let's get better. Welcome to the Let's Get Metaphysical podcast. I'm your host, Renata Maniachi, here to remind you that you are a spiritual being having a temporary human experience here on lovely planet Earth. That's right, it's temporary, and most likely you're not from here, even though you look like you are. You maybe have spent lots and lots of lifetimes on this planet, or maybe you have spent lots and lots of lifetimes elsewhere on other planets and in other forms. Maybe you had a physical body like you do now, and maybe you didn't. So many different places to have existences and ways to exist. This is season seven, Heaven on Earth, and this is episode 128. The revolution is within. And why don't we just jump right into that topic now? Are you ready? Let's get meta. Masters and angels, I request your guidance, your presence, your support through this episode. Please help me to know the truth, speak the truth, become the truth, and be the truth. Please help whatever needs to come through today for the benefit of all of our listeners, come in and please let this episode reach whoever needs to hear it. Thank you with gratitude and full faith. Bless creation. The revolution is within. This is a topic that has been coming through for a while now, and it is fairly straightforward, to be honest. The idea is that as we transform ourselves, as we learn to fine-tune ourselves and control ourselves, especially our reactions, and as we learn to adjust and adapt and evolve, that is the revolution that is going to be seen and experienced internally as well as externally. Meaning we can wish and hope and want and beg for our exterior circumstances, experiences, the world, everyone in it, our neighbors, our workplaces, everything external to us, we can wish and hope and want for those things to change but that's not really going to do much. And it's when we change, it's when we make that effort, even subtly on the inside, that not only does change manifest within, but then you see that the world around you also changes. Subtle shifts in your vibration, in your frequency, in the literal vibrations, vibes that you are giving off right? Change the experience of yourself and those around you. And we can all think of different times and experiences when you just like the vibe of a person or a place or a thing or the opposite of that. You didn't like those vibes. We have the power to change our own vibration. We have the power to choose how we react to something. We have the power to make changes. 
internally, but we don't have that much power to change things outside of us. And that's been the big, almost deception. It seems as though our world and so many workplaces and governments and education systems and activism and politics, all of these things seem created to manifest change, transformation, evolution externally, to change this, to change that, to improve this, to better that. When there's this big portion, maybe a huge grand portion of these changes that actually can't happen that way. Somebody going to a place and trying to change it or going to a new group of people and trying to change it. I guess those things can happen. But on some level, there needs to be that shift, that transformation, that adaptation within. And that's what this episode is all about. Adjusting yourself, transforming yourself, changing your vibe so that you can actually see your reality change externally to you once you do that. And we see this in a number of ways just in our day-to-day experience. If you've ever traveled somewhere new and there were different accents or different ways of being, different culture, and you might have found yourself using that accent or falling into that way of being or adapting to wherever you were. That was you making that change. You adjusted yourself to that new environment. And maybe that worked really well for you. But that's the idea is that if you want to see something shift outside of you, you need to shift yourself first. You need to become that vibration so much that it just radiates out around you and those around you can choose to adjust to your vibration. And I believe in a large part that's where we are right now on the planet. There's so many people and groups and organizations trying to change things outside of themselves without bothering to shift themselves. Maybe I'm bringing this up because the most powerful transformations I've seen within myself that have translated to the outside world is when I have made a subtle shift in my perspective, in my perception, in my awareness. And then the outside circumstances and the outside surroundings change along with that. One example of this is, well, I've never been a big drinker, but I pretty much don't drink alcohol anymore. And I haven't for a while, occasionally when I feel like it, but large part, mostly non-drinker. And kind of naturally, the people in my life who did drink a lot just kind of fell away. So in that way, that part of my surrounding changed because of something that I decided to do or not to do. But that's only one small example of that. There are nuances to this as well. As I've moved on, I've also attracted people to my life that doesn't matter to them whether I drink or not. So they can imbibe if they want to, and they're not bothered if I don't. And so those people have come into my life or remained in my life. Those were the types of people that they were to begin with. And so that whole experience really changed the surroundings, the environment, the situations I found myself in, 
in my life. And that was me making a change. And there's so many more examples of this. Another one from my life is I've lived in a lot of places that believed one way of thinking. So I've lived in cities such as New York City, Washington, D.C. I've spent a lot of time in Seattle, for example. And there is a predominant way of thinking and belief system in those cities on all kinds of levels, incorporating all kinds of things. And so while there, it wasn't hard to be around people who believed and thought and understood the world in the exact same ways that you did, or in this case, that I did. And at some point, I decided that I thought it would be beneficial for me, and this was kind of what the last episode was about, striving for neutrality. I decided that it would be a really useful thing for me to try and understand other perspectives that were different from mine in a big way, not in a changing my belief system and changing what I held to be correct and true kind of way, but in a, I want to understand how other people see the world and why. And so as soon as I made that shift, a lot of things started to change for me externally. I started to meet people that had different perspectives and were open to sharing them. I started to see different situations and different environments and upbringings that might create these other ways of being and thinking and believing. And my life even rearranged itself so that I was no longer living in a place that predominantly thought in one way. I, in fact, started spending time in places that two places, one place that was out of the United States, so just didn't even fall into the same cultural belief systems as the United States and norms, and a place that was more balanced and diverse in politics, in religion, in just ways of being and norms in the United States than being so one way or so polarizing in one direction. And I believe that that happened because of my decision to shift my vibration to being open to understanding other ways of being and other ways of living and understanding and levels of consciousness. And that changed my life. And so these are just two, these are just a few examples of how one can decide to do something or can decide to shift your thinking, your behavior, your reactions, what's important to you, choose something new to focus on, new to become aware of, and how that can dramatically change your exterior, your surroundings, your friend group, your relationships, your workplace, your career path, your professional life, your family life, your diet, your exercise, your entertainment. And why are we talking about this now? I feel that this is a really important thing for all of us to think about. This idea that the revolution, any kind of change that we want to make, any revolutionary thought, plan, idea to make hopefully a better world, a better planet, a better living situation, a more positive outcome for yourself and for everyone on this planet, that 
starts from inside. That is not something that is only external to you. That's something that must, dare I say, must begin from within. And so how can we do this? How can we, to use that beautifully cliche phrase, be the change that you want to see in the world. That's what this is about. I guess that the episode could be called that, be the change you want to see in the world. This is such a deep truth that once you shift yourself in some way, you can actually physically see transformation taking place around you. One maybe simple way to play with this would be just to simply go out and smile, truly smile at everyone you see and look them in the eyes and smile and just see what that does. That's one little tiny shift in behavior. And I don't know what'll happen. Maybe people will think you're not so, or maybe, you know, there'll be other changes or interactions or people that you meet because of that. Or maybe you've brightened somebody's day and you'll never know that that happened, but even that vibration ripples out and may, may affect other people. You could do something as simple as that, but it could also be something different. It could also be deciding to I don't know, anything, anything that you want to shift or want to see shifted outside of you, try to meditate on and intuit. Ask your guides, your angels, what can I shift within myself to help me see that shift in the world outside of myself? If I want the world to be more kind, how can I be more kind? If I want the world to stop rushing around and enjoy smelling the flowers, how can I stop rushing around and take time to stop and smell the flowers? These are fairly simple examples. All of this can be more complex and complicated, but I don't know that we're getting anywhere by hoping and wishing for people to change their external realities around them, the way things are done outside of themselves, in larger systems, in larger organizations, in larger everything. One of the things that we seem to come to this planet for is to, on some level, realize this, that true change comes from within. True transformation, true revolution comes from within. And not necessarily because you're deciding to impose your transformation on other people. It's that when you transform, your vibration literally changes and ripples out around you and affects all the vibrations around you of everything because it's all energy. We're all energy. We all carry a certain vibration, even solid inanimate objects, everything. And so you can affect and you do affect everything around you. So maybe it's time to sit with that and really embody this idea that the revolution is within and see what happens around you because it doesn't take a lot of time. It can be instantaneous. And I've observed this in myself and in others. This transformation can be instantaneous. And in this episode, I'm using the word revolution, which means a lot of things to a lot of people. I think the idea with this is that there's so many things happening in the world and a lot of people feel powerless right now. But this is a way, this is a reminder, this is a nudge, this is a twinkle light from the universe leading you to 
what could potentially be your next step to change yourself and then change the world around you. So my recommendation for anyone interested in this concept is to sit quietly, connect yourself to the energies of the planet and the energies of the universe, invite in any guides, any angels, any positive sources that have helped you and ask for ideas on what you can do to shift your own vibration into something that is more suited to where you want to be. And then listen for the response. Listen for the image in your mind. Listen for the words that appear. Listen for the feeling of what you need to do, the knowing of how you need to proceed. Or the song that comes on the radio that gives you an idea. And try that. Because I think and I have experienced that it can be a lot faster to see changes outside yourself when you change on the inside and when you transform and evolve on the inside. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Have fun with that exercise if that's something that you're interested in. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. Stay positive, stay safe, and stay meta. The Let's Get Metaphysical podcast is an Up, Up, and Awaken production and is produced and hosted by Renata Maniacci. Our intention is to raise the vibration of the planet by sharing, validating, and normalizing spiritual and metaphysical experiences. If you are ready to raise your vibration, you might enjoy our free Let's Get Meta Master Clearing. To receive the Master Clearing or to learn more about the podcast, visit letsgetmeta.com. We like to share metaphysical stories and answer spiritual questions on the podcast. If you have a metaphysical experience you would like to share or have a spiritual question you would like to have answered, please send an email to info at letsgetmeta.com. The Let's Get Meta podcast is inspired by angels and supported by angels. If you would like to be an angel donor to the podcast, visit patreon.com slash let's get meta. Thank you for listening. Stay meta. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Let's get meta. Metaphysical.